having to have that paper signed. So I had to start going to AA meetings. Well, my first, that whole thing was assigned. I was going out of town. So I did that in Troy, Michigan. I went to my first AA meeting in Troy, Michigan. Sat around this table with 11 white women at 10 o'clock in the afternoon, in the morning. And I'm like, why are these women not working? Don't they have to work? Who are these people? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I do not belong here. And I'm sitting there just my legs shaking and this old woman, older than dirt, grabbed my knee and she said, baby, you just don't have to drink today. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her and in my head, I went, how you know, in my head. But then I listened to what they had to say. And it was a bunch of moms who had guilt and shame and didn't feel good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that that there's no color on that. That was the great equalizer, Alco- addiction, alcoholism, um, uh, yeah. I and I, it took a minute for me to say I'm an alcoholic. It took a minute for me to say I'm an alcoholic, and then it took another minute for me to say I'm an addict. Mm. I, but um, I finally found a place that I belonged and felt comfortable hmm. with all these other people because we we had the exact same thing. No, that makes sense. Right. And it took me a while to see that I'm just a human being human. I'm a human being. And that actually, we all have the same thing. Just that. That we're just being human, right? Just like everybody in the whole world. Trying to... It opened my eyes to a lot, to how I connect with the entire community, not just my little bubble, this little bubble of life that I live in. That My actions affect the world. But of course, I didn't think my addiction and my alcoholism affected my kid or my husband or my, any, I, my family. It's, I was still so, I mean, you know, I still didn't see that. It took a minute to see that also. So anyway, so I have the case. Um, I do the things. I'm kicking and screaming on the inside, but I'm fabulous on the outside. So I'm still acting. Mm. I'm still acting. I'm still pretending. Um, but I fake it till I make it. And I finally settle down and uh, sling a lot of snot, a lot of tears in meetings in front of people because I didn't cry in front of people because I'm tough and I have to be. Um, but I did, I mean, I finally, um, got honest with myself. Well, I knew I had a problem, but I didn't know what, that I was, (laughs) I mean, I didn't know that I thought my problem was drugs and alcohol. That's what I thought my problem was. And come to find out my problem is how I feel about myself and, and that less than, and all that other hiding and acting and being being somebody else, yeah, trying to please all the people I, and be all the things that's expected. I think that I think is expected of me. Yeah, I, I you said it. I this this idea of like the expectations that you've created for other people, thinking that they've created those for you. It's like such a you know a, a you know a twisted um, web to be trying to escape from. I've I got to that same place uh, and. I'm still trying to work that out, but um, I got- I think age helps with that. I think age helps with that. Yeah, I do think maturity and that thing because if you think about how your parents feel about, and it's funny because that, that okay, let's think about the crotchety old man. The crotchety old man doesn't care how anybody feels about him. That's how he feels. That's just how he is, and we accept him because he's just a crotchety old man. Mm-hmm. I want to feel like that a long time ago. Yeah. Not I don't have to be crotchety. <laughs> But I want to self empowered and I, yeah, yeah. Because the the peace that comes with that is amazing. I appreciate you guys listening to the Stacking Days podcast. I hope this episode added value to your recovery and wellness journey. Before we go our separate ways, let's connect on social. You can find us on TikTok and Instagram at Stacking Days or via the website www.stackingdays.com. By supporting the show, you can play a direct role in amplifying people of color in their pursuit of recovery. The easiest way to do that is to subscribe or hit the follow button. This way you'll never miss an episode all while playing an active part in creating the ecosystem where diverse voices and healing matter. 
This show is for the purpose of education and connection and is not a replacement for therapy or recovery care. For more information on the resources and support available, take a look at SAMHSA and some other resources shared in the description. Until we meet again, be well, one day at a time.